Oh, good morning all you lovely people welcome back to the grumpy old get in the corner again on a Tuesday that started out with a beautiful sunrise clear blue skies and now we're back to the greyness seems to be a bit of a pattern there doesn't it I'll say no more on that so no sooner had Remembrance Day and Armour's Day, fin Armour's Day finished um, I have trouble with that word. <laughs> um, Comrade Starmo is off on another little jolly out of the fucking country again after France yesterday. Hooking up with Macron, you know. Macron of France. The one that's had over a hundred million of our pounds to stop the boats crossing the channel. And has done fuck all about it. Other than waved them off the beaches. Said adieu. Sent them here. And uh, this over the weekend, um, with over a thousand of possible terrorist women, child abusers and stabby type people crossing the channel. But yeah, Starmer's off again. What is it, comrade? You frightened of your own country? You frightened of your own people? Now this time, um, he's off to what I call Cop Out, not Cop, Cop Out 29. You know, just so he can spend more time out of the country than he does in it. But um, you're supposed to be running this country, not having a fucking world jolly at our expense and spending billions while you're doing it. You know, um, and why the dickhead's there, he will give millions more and pledge more of our money. You know, I fully expect that now. It's what he does every time whenever he opens his mouth when he's out this country he's promising somebody money but at this event they will be using certain recent events to push the net zero bollocks now we know it's unachievable and we know it's unaffordable but I can hear it now oh the wildfires the floods now think about it many of these floods um, in Spain in particular happened because of an EU directive a um, couple of years back I think it was to remove several dams and flood defences for so-called good of the land many of the wildfires that we've seen over the last few years have been proved to have been started deliberately so they're nothing to do with what's happening around the globe they're nothing to do with global warming they're simply because some arsehole has been told to go out and set fire to things now with Trump back in the chair or getting back in the chair over in the states now that could throw a spanner in the works because don't forget he withdrew from that agreement and I think he will do again you know, as far as I'm concerned, these cop-out meetings are just another bullshit excuse for a jolly for the world elites. Let's go and get together, have some champagne, talk about how much money we got. Now, if they were serious about net zero, the first thing they'd have to discuss is shutting down places. And by places, I mean China, India, Russia and many countries in the EU that are still burning fossil fuels you know they're expecting us who contribute probably the smallest amount to this to pay and do everything but it ain't gonna fucking happen we can't afford it the country will go broke before we achieve that net zero can't they see that? I mean, there's a recession on the way by the looks of things anyway. You know, already today, they've announced unemployment's going up again. Wonder why? Hey, Miss, Mrs. Chancellor, these jobs that are being lost, nothing to do with your budget, are they? <laughs> no, of course they're not. But on the uh, subject of the channel paddlers, now, Dictator Khan looks like he's or has given free bus passes um, 
to the channel paddlers, basically. Why? Why do they need them? They get everything provided for them. They don't need to fucking travel. You can't use the excuse they're looking for work because they're not allowed to. Now, we're being told that we got to live in 15-minute cities, 15-minute zones, where you shouldn't need to travel more than 15 minutes away from your home. And that's already happening in many places, through the back door in the ways of restricting our movement, uh, doing everything and putting things in place to try and stop us using our cars. Yet he gives these people the right, the free reign to travel. Is this so they can spread their fur, fear further afield, stab people further afield, harass, abuse people further afield from where they're staying? Now I've heard it said, and I've said it, that Khan, Starmer, have got English blood on their hands. At the moment, I would say more like they're fucking bathing in it. Rather than just having it on their hands. Sad, but true, isn't it? I'll leave it there for today, folks. Um, don't forget, tomorrow, um, usual live stream. Zero tolerance, as usual. I don't entertain fucking idiots. <coughs> um... Uh, maybe a video tomorrow, there may not. It depends on how I'm feeling. I'm feeling very tired at the moment, but uh, as you know, that changes from day to day. So, but until tomorrow, at some point, as always, stay safe, stay strong, and stay free from the fear these idiots are trying to create. Respects, guys.